Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering the division box method. And this is a different way of doing long division. The process is going to be very similar to traditional long division, but the benefit to the box method is organization. This method can help stay organized throughout the whole process, and it's going to help keep columns lined up. In this specific video, I'm going to be dividing four digit numbers by two digit numbers. So let's jump into number one, where we have 5,340 divided by 15. So 5,340, that's our dividend. It's the number that we are splitting or dividing up, and we're dividing by our divisor of 15. So the first thing we need to do is draw out our box. Now your drawing of these boxes and your spacing will get better the more you do of these. So once we have the box, we need to split it into four sections going vertically. So one, two, three, and four. So we split into four sections because our dividend has four digits. So let's write a digit in um, each section. So 5,340. And we put our divisor, that 15, on the outside. Now we're set up with our box and we're ready to go through the process. And those steps are at the top of your screen. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring up, repeat. Now those steps are very similar, almost identical to the traditional long division method. The only difference, we're going to bring up rather than bring down. And you'll see what I mean by that here in a second. So our first step, divide. And we're going to take a look at this first five uh, right here and divide. So five divided by 15. How many whole groups of 15 can we pull out of five? Well, we can't do that, so we need a zero here. Now multiply. Zero times 15 is zero. Subtract. Five minus zero is five. Now we bring up. So we're going to bring that five up to the next section, the hundreds place there. And we now repeat. So we start over with divide. So 53 divided by 15. So how many whole groups of 15 out of 53? Well, we know 3 times 15 is 45. 4 times 15 is 60. So 4 is a little too many. Um, so we're going to have 3 whole groups of 15 out of that 53. So multiply. 3 times 15 is 45. And we subtract. So you can either use mental math, 53 minus 45, or we can borrow, and we get to 13 minus 5, which is 8, and 4 minus 4 is 0, so we get 8. So now we bring the 8 up to the tens place here, and we have 84, and we repeat. So we go back to divide. So we have 84 divided by 15. Well, we know that 15 times 6 is going to give us 90. So that's a little bit too much, so we're going to scale it back to 15 times 5, which is 75. So we can pull 5 whole groups of 15 out of 84. So 5 times 15, we're at the multiply step, is 75. Subtract 84 minus 75. Well, you can use mental math or we will write it out here, we'll need to borrow, and we get the 14 minus five is nine, or with mental math, you get nine as well. Next, we bring up, so we have 90. So let's repeat, divide, 90 divided by 15. Well, those are compatible, 15, we can divide and get a whole number without a remainder there. So we know 15 times six hits 90 exactly, so 90 divided by 15, we get six whole groups of 15 out of 90. So six times 15, 90. Subtract, 90 minus 90 is zero. So our answer is 356. So I will rewrite it down here, 356. This number here is always going to show 
uh, what our remainder is. And in the case of number one, we don't have one. Now a common mistake is to look down here and think that this is our answer, 5,890, which that is not true. Always look up top for your answer. So on to number two, where we have 7,523 divided by 46. So the first thing we need to do is draw out our box. And again, we need four sections because we have four digits here with our dividend. All right, so we have 7,523 and we are dividing by 46. So we're all set up and ready to go through the steps. So the first step, divide. So we need to do seven divided by 46. How many whole groups of 46 out of seven? Well, we can't do that, so we need a zero here. Multiply, zero times 46 is zero. Subtract, seven minus zero is seven. And now we are uh, ready to bring up. So bring the seven up and we have 75. So 75 divided by 46. Now 46 isn't as easy to work with as 15 is. So we may need to come to the side, estimate and check and see how many whole groups of 46 out of 75. So let's try two just for the sake of example here. So 46 times two is going to give us 92. So we cannot pull two whole groups of 46 out of 75. It's just going to be one. That's as, as, that's as close as we can get. So one times 46 is 46. Subtract, well, we need to borrow here. We have a six. 15 minus six is nine. Six minus four, two. So we get 29. So we need to bring both of those digits up to the next section. So we get two. 92. So repeat, divide 292 divided by 46. So we are really going to need to estimate and check here. Well, we know 46 times 10 is 460. That will give us a starting point. But 292 isn't really close to that. So let's scale back. Let's try 5 and see how close we are and go from there. So 46 times 5. 5 times 6 is 30, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23. So 230, pretty close. Let's scale up a little bit. Let's try 46 times 6 and see if we can get any closer, closer without going over. So I'm just going to find a blank area. I'm going to go to the left side of the screen here. So 46 times 6. 36, 6 times 4, 24, plus 3 is 27. 276, so that's pretty darn close, but let's try 7 um, and see if we can get any closer. So 7 times 6, 42. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 4 is 32, so 3. 22. So 7 went over. Uh, 6 groups of 46 out of 292 is as close as we can get. So we need a 6 here. Now we multiply 6 times 46, which we already did over here, is 276. So subtract. We need to borrow here. 12 minus 6 is 6. 8 minus 7 is 1 and then two minus two is zero. So we end up with 16 that we need to bring up. So we end with 163 there in the last section and we repeat, so we go back to divide. So 163 divided by 46. So we need to think, how many groups of 46 can we pull out of 163? So we did 46 times two here don't redo that. Look at what you already have and then go off of that. So that got us to 92. So let's try 46 times 3. I'll find some room over here. So 18, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1, 
138. Now that is as close as we can get, but let's just do four to show that we're going to go over. So four times six is 24, four times four is 16, plus two, 18. So 184, so that's too much there. So it's going to be three whole groups of 46 out of 163. Then we do three times 46, which we did right here, is 138. And we need to subtract. So borrow, this is going to be a five. Then we have 13 minus eight, which is five. Five minus three is two, and one minus one is zero. So this last number here, this is our remainder. So 163 remainder, 25 is our answer there. I will rewrite below. All right, so there you have it. There's how you use the box method in order to solve a long division problem. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.